Troy, today we're talking about virtual reality. You know, that, that's that been around a long time. People think it's the last five or 10 years, but actually virtual reality has been around since the 30s. They had peer through toys. And then in the 50s and 60s, they got the simulators for the, uh, the Navy and the Air Force. So it's been around a long, long time. What are you, what are you doing over there, Troy? You, you playing Pong or ha something? Ha Hammer, are you yeah. there? Yeah. What? Yeah. Hammer. I'm in another virtual world. I'm in yeah. the real world. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. It's changing everything. I mean, it's, it's one of those spaces where um, you have, like Pokemon, okay? That's... You, but that's not totally virtual because that's kind of that, that, other, that other thing where um, you, you're still partially in virtual reality and partially not in virtual reality. Well, I think in today's society, we're having enough trouble with reality, right? And I think that is giving foot to virtual reality. Let's escape reality, do something different, get out of a comfort zone or what we know day to day, and let's go into fantasy. And I think that's what's really happening with it. Well, think about it. I really don't remember this, but you're old enough to remember this. Uh, Pong came out. <laughs> oh, oh, eh, uh, yeah, right, I remember Pong. Right? <laughs> and I mean, the kids today would just go, what the hell is that? Boring. Yeah, right? Yeah. That was the first video game, was it not, Pong? Period. Yeah. Yeah. And guys, it was uh, two little white things that you went up and down on the ball, went back and forth, and it was... <laughs> and you could lock them, right? You yeah. could put one in a corner and the other in the other corner. Yeah. Did, 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 yeah. Just keep going back and forth. <laughs> right, and it moved about, you know, it took like 10 minutes to get across the freaking yeah. screen. Yeah. But what's going to happen with this virtuality? I mean, uh, what's going on now? These kids, I mean, soon, uh, who wants to interact with each other? With, you can be whoever you want, wherever you want to be. And sitting uh, in a slum somewhere, and you think you're in the beach in Tahiti with a bunch of hot chicks. I mean, <laughs> and, and I haven't experienced anything. it honestly. I, I would like to, and I and I still have yet to strap on, other than the one I had on when we first came here, to see what it's really like. Because I, I understand it's it's like you said, it is all encompassing. It, it's 360 in your mind because that's what you see with these things on your head, and. You could be anywhere. You could be anybody. I mean, it, you could be in the middle of a movie. It's it's pretty interesting. Why why is it every time we talk about uh, things, you always have to bring strap it on. porn in? You know, I mean, what, what is oh, that? I knew you were going back to that. You, know, you have to bring that on, man. <laughs> well, but, speaking of porn, yes. that's very big in virtual reality. <laughs> it is the augmented reality. That's it, it, exactly well, right. Well, you, you need it augmented, yeah. <laughs> and that's not reality. <laughs> True that. True that. But you know what? I, I think that we're going to be less and less, especially after the pandemic and all that bullshit. The, uh, we had the uh, director in here, Paul Bunch, uh, a week ago or so, and talking about the movie Never Alone. And these kids, you know, spent all that a whole year by themselves. I mean, so they're going to this stuff. I mean, this is going to be the, this is the new thing. It is. You have to ask yourself, what is the long-term effect of this? You know, we probably won't know for another 20 years or so or beyond that, but it's a detachment. Uh, is it healthy? Yeah. Don't know. You know, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't plan on, you know, really investigating it that far. But, you know, I think there's going to be long-term effects. There already has with cell phones. I mean, we can already be by ourselves for a week doing this and not even look up, right? Right. So... It's, it, we've already got a foot in the grave, so to speak, um, and this is going to take us even further. Is it good, bad? I don't know. Is it entertainment? Hell yeah. Well, it's entertainment for sure. Yeah. But what, I mean, think about what is it going to do to the entertainment world? I good mean, point. you don't need to go to a concert anymore. You don't need to go to a hockey game. You can see it virtually from your house. I mean, basically, it's, you, you, you're just, it's setting you into the arena. Yeah. I, 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 I just as you're saying that it makes me relate it to my business being real estate, right? You still have to kind of see the house at some point. You buy a car. I've bought a lot online, but eventually you, you kick the tires. And I think that may be the same case here. You still have to be in a stadium at a, at a baseball game to smell it and see it and, and experience it. Virtual reality, I don't think can completely replace that. Well, you're Unless saying you that smell a vision too. You're you know? saying that because of what generation you come from. That's probably extremely correct. Yeah. Yeah. But the younger generation is not going to look at it that way. So particularly when you go to SoFi Stadium and you pay $350 for a seat way up yonder. Exactly. That's a lot. 
Yeah. And, a whole lot. And I can sit at home on my phone and see the game a lot better than <laughs> paying the 300 bucks sitting all the way up there. Shut your, your right hand with the phone, the left hand down your pants. You got it. You know, you can watch whatever you want. <laughs> well, think about this. There you go to the porn again. That's not porn. Think, it's just natural. <laughs> think about this. I mean, um, malls across America, across the globe are closing, right? And in the 80s, 70s and 80s, I mean, the, the big malls were, they were, that was it, right? Yeah. Those are all dying off, okay? You shop online, okay? This is online. This is, you, you, you put those um, Oculus headsets on. Matter of fact, a neighbor of mine created that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and he's Lucky what, 20, Palmer. He's 20, mid, mid late 20s right yeah. now. Yeah. Billionaire. Yeah. Billionaire. Um, smart dude. Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they understand this stuff. They're, the stuff that you and I don't understand. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and, and uh, under one of these things. I mean, I got a couple of friends that do that and I've, I've put them on and tried them, but, um, you know, I, I'd rather go do the real thing. Again, our generation, I would too, you know, go out and smell the grass, look at the trees and, and be a part of it. But, uh, I guess another factor of that hammer is, is the medical aspect. I mean, what happens to your brain when your whole reality is within two inches of your eyeballs what happens to your eyeballs when your your entire world is two inches away from your eyeball and it, it's got to react differently than being out in in real life and and having that depth of field well think about this you know you'll have kids that'll spend 24 hours playing those games right and now they have this this technology right I mean, pretty soon they're going to hook you up to a food IV and a shitter, and you're going to be sitting there. I mean, yeah. you know. I'll, I'll have a grilled cheese sandwich, fries, and I need to shit now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, when's it going to get to when, you, you know, you, if you're not comfortable with yourself, okay? Um, you know, like Troy, if he's not as pretty as me. Uh, you, you know, and you don't want to be out in that world. Happens. You'll create your own avatar world basically right well look at that tv show hammer right there's a new one called guess my voice or something like that and they put all these you know data points on the contestants they're avatars, right yeah they're backstage and the avatar is on stage yeah exactly and, and so yeah it, i think we're going full speed in that direction where that direction is i don't know necessarily but reality is indeed changing you know i, I think it's going to be one of those things um where we haven't seen it yet, but a whole reset is coming because technology, before we didn't have the, we had the thought about this stuff, but we didn't have the technology. Now we have the technology and it's surpassing what we can even think about. That's. Yeah, yeah. it's the trajectory of technology has been flatlined for about 200 years. Right. And then we started having tick, 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 you know, a little Morse code. It's so it blips up, but now it's just, you know, straight up, right. It's a and, straight up technology and curve. We're not even smart enough for our own technology right now. We don't even know what to do with it. Getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. So ahead speak. of ourselves. Yeah. But think about it. The, the one thing about a lot of this is you were talking about, um, being facetious, but you're talking about medical side of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can teach, uh, young surgeons how to, you know, properly remove a heart and put a heart back in the whole thing without having to practice on a cadaver like they used to have. In yeah. The day. Our, our, Hogue, our own Hogue hospital right here in Newport beach. They just had a big article in the paper, all these surgeons that have done over a hundred, you know, virtual surgeries. I mean, yes, the body is there, but right. they're, they got a headset on and they're, they're doing all this intricate business without, you know, looking at the actual vein or whatever. It's, it's, it's right. all real virtual reality. Pretty interesting. Well, it's, I mean, it, you know, it, and by the way, I'm sorry, I wasn't being facetious about the, the medical aspect of that. I right. mean, you know, it's like looking up at the sun. Yeah. You're going to screw your eyes up. I mean, is that same kind of a thing with these virtual reality things on your face? I don't know. Well, you know, I, who knows about that? Uh, we've I mean, been the microwave made us sterile, right? <laughs> right. Well, we've been staring at TV since the, you know, the forties, but not whatever. two inches away from our eyeballs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But those are some ugly bulbs and look at the lights that we have in here. You know, you want to get in trouble coming into a studio and play yeah, the game. True. But I think that, um, it can be very good for learning. I, I think it can be very great for space exploration and that kind of a thing. But I think we have to be very careful when it comes to social media and social entertainment, because you still want to interact with 
your fellow mankind. And this kind of takes you away from that a little bit. It does. And and I think, you know, without humor inter- human interaction, you're not going to have humans. I mean, right. it, that sounds dramatic, but, it, you know, without that, what do you have? And, and I think, Hammer, it'd be really interesting to see what our viewers have to say. I really like to have a lot of comments. I mean, do you like virtual reality? Have you experienced it? What's your experience with it? Because um, we can, you know, we can follow up on this as well. And, and we'll take your comments and, and put them into a show. See, for me, it's kind of cool because I'm getting into that grumpy old man position in my I life. Too. Where I just, I don't want to put up with shit. I don't so, give a yeah, shit. Go, yeah, just do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't care. My time is limited, yeah. okay? You know. So listen, comment, hit the subscribe, hit the like. We love you guys. See you next time on Happening Now.